Hey, Dr. X Steve here with another achievement guide. This is the Wake Up on Halo Wars 2, the new game that just came out recently. And for this one, you just need to complete the signal mission, which is the very first mission that you do when you first start Halo Wars 2. And it's a very simple method. It's a very simple mission, sorry, not method. Uh, you just need to drive this little warthog around the map. There's a little bit of conflict at the end, but nothing tactical at all required when you do this mission. It's more just a base on building the story. It doesn't even really teach you much on the buttons. I would recommend doing the tutorial, which is on the main menu. Uh, on the, I think you just click tutorials and then basic, and that'll teach you the basic things about the game before even jumping into the game. Uh, but that's just a recommendation. If you played Halo Wars 1, the buttons are pretty much exactly the same. So let's say for this one you've just got to follow this little path here which I'll be showing. You can skip ahead. The path for this map is actually 3 minutes. The best I could do it in was 3 minutes 21. Which I don't think was on this playthrough. I think it was an earlier playthrough. I think one, this one takes slightly longer than 3 minutes 50. But also I'll point out that I've cut out all of the cutscenes for this because I don't really want a copyright strike for just putting in for some cutscenes when that's not the, the point of the video. Um, but yeah, you're just driving round following that path really um, you're about to approach your first portal nothing complicated about that you just click it um, all the audio logs for this level they're all in plain sight they're all on the path as you go along uh, there isn't a skull there's no skull on this one so you don't have to worry about that at all to be taken out of skull and the secondary objective is to like kind of crash into five brutes which you do by pressing Y. I'll talk about that later in the video though when we get to the point where it is where it's relevant really. But he was driving round. We're about to get into the next cut scheme which I skipped, but the cut scheme is basically introducing you to the bad guy. You can watch it or skip it depending on what you want to do. If you're just going for achievements like me, just skip it. Um see so it's a bit weird there. When you come out, you're getting raided by all these bad guys. No shooting involved, literally just driving um, until you get to the brutes there. Press Y on them brutes, um, that'll help you get in the gold. Just because you need the secondary objective, because there's nothing else basically in this mission to do. Make sure any brutes you see, headbutt them. Well, not headbutt them, kind of ram into them with your car. I don't know why I called that headbutton. But yeah, just kind of carry on following the arrows. Really simple. And you should get a gold as well as getting your achievement for this. But you won't get the... For some reason, the gold achievement doesn't count this one. Well, I say for some reason. It's because all you have to do is headbutt them. Other than that, there's no danger at all. No skill required. No nothing. So everybody should be easily getting a gold on here. Although my first playthrough, I did get silver because I didn't headbutt any brutes. But your finish line is just around the corner here. You're going to activate the teleporter and you're out of there. And there you go. There's a gold and your achievement pops. I hope this guide helped out. If it did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.